Food Crew. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Rated Road, baby. Okay, y'all. So, like, today I just wanted to get into, like, what the hell is going on in Love Island? Like, I love that show. Like, I really freaking love Love Island so much. And I just want to talk about, y'all, I'm 17, mind you, but what's happening in there makes me feel like I'm back in high school. Well, I'm still in high school, but you get what I'm saying. Like, what is Johnny thinking? Like, what is he doing? Like, I thought he was going to be a cool guy, but he's just doing the same thing all the other guys who are in long relationships prior to being on Love Island. I mean, well, they were in long relationships prior, go, prior to going into Casa more. And, like, once they get there, they act like they have no sense. And I feel really bad because I don't know if y'all watched, like, Love Island UK, but... And one of their seasons, this guy named Curtis and Amy, they were together for so long. She was falling in love with him when she was in class somewhere. And when she came back, Curtis had moved on completely. He didn't love her. And she came in there. She came back to the house saying she was going to say I love you to him. And she did. And he was not feeling it. So I just feel like that's exactly what's happening to my girl, Sally. Like, Johnny's completely playing with her emotions, and it's disrespectful. And we need to cancel him, y'all. We need to cancel him, and we need to vote him out the house so quick. Like, y'all all need to get on the app. Love Island app, and y'all need to cancel him because he's he's overstayed his welcome. And Ford or Toyota, whatever, whoever the girl she's kissing, she got to go, y'all. She got to go. She has to go. Like, absolutely. She's so canceled. Like, she looks so, like, I don't know how to explain it. No, I do know how to explain it. She looks thirsty. Like, she looks like one of, she's one of the thirstiest girls that is actually on in Casa Amor. Like, and all of those girls there, they always want to dog the OG girls. The OG girls are not worried about y'all, honey. They have not dogged the OG, they have, the OG girls have not dogged the Casa Amor girls at all. Like, they've all been, like, they're nice, and they haven't, like, downplayed them to uplift themselves. And that's what's wrong with females. They don't always want to downplay another female to make yourself feel better you need to stop doing that ladies and then girls and cost some more y'all need to stop doing that like why y'all even wasting your breath doing that y'all everyone who comes in every love island season who comes in through cost some more they never make it to the end they always get voted off they never get to like the last episode they don't even get to the last week they always get voted off because the public doesn't like y'all and especially the girls from cost some more no one likes y'all. I'm sorry, but it's just the blunt, honest truth. No one likes y'all. Y'all need to go home, and y'all need to call it a day. And I really love Justine and Caleb. Like, I think they are so beautiful. And as a dark-skinned girl who wants to be on Love Island one day, um, I think that Justine is really holding it down for us. Like, girl, you are, I think, out of all the dark skins that I've been on all Love Island series from the UK, Australia, the US, like, Justine has held it down the best the best she has not downplayed herself she has not um went back on what she wants she went for she went for caleb and she conquered him and she didn't and i know that other girl the other black girl that was there oh god what's her name exactly i don't remember because it's irrelevant but like she has not downplayed herself and she has kept it at 100 and so she deserves to stay and caleb they just i hope that he just makes the right decision and doesn't go with share or Char, whatever her name is. And he realized that whatever he has with Justine is so much better. They look so good together and they just feed off each other's emotional connection. Like it's more, deep, it's deeper than physical. It's way deeper than physical. And Johnny needs to understand that. And that's what Caleb needs to understand. She needs to take his own advice. Why ruin something that's so good? You know what all guys on Love Island like to say? Especially the like the boys, they be like, yo, but could you be happier? No, I cannot be happier. Thank you very much. Thanks for asking, though. Thanks for asking, though, because you're a good friend. No, the boys on Love Island, like, if you have one single friend like Harrington, he will ruin your chances in Love Island because he's single. He wants all of his friends to be single with him, and he ruins Sally and Johnny's relationship. Even though Johnny ruined it as well, Harrington played a part as well. Caleb at least kept it 100 with him and told him that Sally is like almost in love with him or she is in love with him. We don't know for sure because Sally has not said so, but either way, like that itself should have some type of like effect on him and it's not, it is not having an effect on him at all. He, Johnny still, even after the whole um, Bella versus Casa Moore challenge, like even when the thing was done for them to all, from the, for them to kiss like, um, everyone have a group kiss like everyone needs to kiss like partner with someone to kiss them 
Like, Johnny, even after it was over, still decided to kiss Toyota. For what? This challenge is over. And I hope they submit a clip and pictures of what Johnny's doing, what all the boys are doing to the girls so that they can rain down hell on them. Because they deserve it completely. They deserve it completely. Like, they are such, they are so trash. I think the only person that is being respectful is Caleb. Carrington is not really being respectful to what he had back at the at, back at the villa, even though they are together, so I'm not going to say too much, but he played too much of a part in Johnny's decisions and what he's doing to Sully. If you were a good friend, you would tell him that he needs to slow down and have respect for what he had at the villa. Like, you can respectfully move on. You don't need to go above and beyond. But that's all I gotta say about that. He could have been more respectful, in my opinion. And um, I think Caleb's the only one that I'm really rooting for now. I mean, Moira's guy, I think his name's Calvin. Like, he's alright too, but he's not gonna win Love Island. His his couple is not as like relevant, honestly, if I'm being completely honest. And that's from a 17-year-old's perspective. His relationship isn't as relevant as the others because um, he's kind of just dry and lame and... I do feel bad for Connor though because Connor was trying so hard with Mackenzie even though he went back and forth for a while trying to figure out if he wanted her or not he still stuck it with her and he didn't move on even when all the girls when the girls who came into the villa were like you gotta move on Connor like move on from her like she's not good for you he still that he still kept it with Mackenzie and now Mackenzie like Mackenzie got mad at him for doing stupid shit like holding someone's hand kissing someone in the challenge like going on someone's day like she was flipping out like the girl was losing her mind and then she was blaming america why we don't like her girl what i'm trying to i'm not trying to send a message to you i'm trying to send a message to connor and connor has not received that message i think you picked up on our own messages and took off with it and you done you done done him wrong but i hope you get voted out too honey kisses sorry but Mackenzie can go because I do like the guy that she's with. He's kind of, he's really is a nice guy. And I kind of don't want to, he's like kind of guilty by association. If you would have picked any other guy, I guarantee you he would have stayed a little longer. In the end, like he'll stay a little longer. But the fact that he chose Mackenzie and Mackenzie's been so back and forth. I mean, so Connor Strong, Connor Strong. And now she's just switching up. I think it, that definitely shows what her true colors are. Although she's trying to like build something. She should have known this before. And she was feeling iffy about Connor long before Casa and Warren she didn't tell Connor anything and Connor although and she was she's like a hypocrite she was telling Connor tell me how you feel but she didn't tell Connor how she felt before Casa and Warren and that and if she did Connor could have definitely moved on and, and Casa and Warren as well as she is she's the only one who has information so that's why she's doing what she's doing and it's quite shameful so yeah that's my take on Love Island Review episodes 15 and 14 and I'm going to do the review of Love Island episode 16 because that's it's just a whole mess and I cannot wait to watch it. I keep refreshing the app because I'm ready to watch the show. But I will see you back on my next review or my next anything video. Bye, y'all.